Hello, hi, how are you? I'm Robin, welcome back or welcome to my YouTube channel. This little world right here is man for himself. If you like hair product reviews, grooming, skincare, fragrance and videos like this very one, then chances are you are going to love it around here. Please do press subscribe right now. Right, I know that the struggle is real to find a great barber to hold on to that barber to get the best hairstyle possible for you. Um, it is tricky, but there are some telltale signs when it's time to break up with your barber, move on, find someone else. And I wanna kind of whiz through these as quickly as possible. Right, the first one I'm going for is whenever you go into the barber, you get someone different. Now you are here, hi, because you care about your hair or it's a suggested video. Thank you very much, YouTube. And if you're going into a barber shop, you're sat there and they come across and say, right, you're with Jake today, uh, you're with Bob today, you're with Kelly today, and, and you're getting someone different the whole time, stop. Either say to them, I was really pleased with Bob or Kelly last week, um, I'd like to keep on going to them, or decide to go to a different barber shop. Barbers are all about um, having a great relationship with you, the customer. They get to know your hair, they get to know what you like, they get to know your style, they get to know any little sort of like kinks in the hair or ways that it grows on the back. My neckline grows as a complete mess and barbers that have got to know my hair know how to cut it. So have the same barber each time. The second one is when your barber doesn't have the technical ability. And not all barbers are created equally. The barbers I've had on this channel, on Man From Self, um, I'll put the hair tutorial videos that we've done, uh, that we did in my Man From Self HQ, those barbers are fantastic and those barbers know their skill. They can just as easily use clippers as they can scissors. If you have a barber that only ever wants to use clippers and is shy of the scissors, that is an alarm bell, that is a flag, that is a warning. Barbers should be able to use scissors. They should be able to use scissors so much so that if the clippers weren't there, they could just use them. Some barbers are fantastic with a fade. Their Instagrams are full of these perfect blended fades. They look fantastic, but they just can't use scissors. So if their technical ability isn't there, it's time to change your barber. I should say, if you are looking for um, barbers who are fantastic, really, very good, you need to be following Man For Hair. Uh, that's my hair Instagram account. Loads of different sort of hairstyle inspirations. And then there's a little QR code on there. QR codes, very 2020, 21. Um, you can head into your barbershop, show them that, they can scan it. It will take them to manforhimself.com, the hairstyle directory, and they can check out what they need to do. It says what to ask your barber, it says how to cut it, and it says how to style it. Right, the third one is if your barber can't give you styling advice, your barber needs to understand hair products. Um, again, great barbers are these people who have a craft in communication, they have a technical ability, and also they know what's gonna suit you. A barber should be able to ask you um, what works for you, and they should be able to understand your lifestyle. If you're someone that doesn't change uh, their hairstyles that often, or you're someone that doesn't like to style, a, an oil-based pomade is gonna be like really bad for you. But if you're a guy who's got this sort of rockabilly 1950s sort of vibe, that's your style, they might say to you, okay, let's go for a pomp and let's go for an oil-based pomade. They need to be able to use styling products and tell you how to recreate it at home. There's nothing worse, you get this amazing hairstyle, they've done all this stuff going on, and then you get home and you think, I, I can't do it. And the only ever time your hair looks good is when you've had a haircut. Right, that leads on to the fourth one. It's time to ditch, dump, change it up, break up with your barber. If your barber doesn't listen to you, we have all been there. I have had some shockers in the past. You might remember a video I did about I think it must have been about three, four years ago, where I had a press appointment to try a new barbershop. Fantastic that I'm able to do that, really great. But I said, just a trim, those fateful words. And he got the clippers, went all the way up, took it off the crown, it went super close. It was really bad, it was awful. And I had cheated on my barber, Dom, Dom, apologies, and Dom fixed it for me. But the barber didn't listen. If at all you were in that chair and you feel uncomfortable, you're the customer, you're paying for this. Say stop and leave. 
They should not be doing that. The barber needs to be able to listen. And the hairstyle directory on manfromself.com is really gonna help you with this. Loads of different hairstyles filtered by your face shape, filtered by your hair type. Is it thick? Is it thin? Is it thinning? Is it fine? Um, filtered by the sort of styles that you want. It's then gonna give you all these different hairstyles that you can click into. You can see what products you can use to style at home. I will find the best prices for you there. It's also gonna tell you what to ask your barber. The communication with a barber is so important, but it's those words and sort of trying to tell them that you want a taper or you want a clipper grade two, or you want a scissor cut, or you want it square, or you want it rounded. For me, it's all from experience of working with barbers and sort of learning more about hairstyle techniques. But for you guys, you don't need to worry. Head there, it is gonna help you. Also the Man For Hair Instagram account. Right, the fifth and final one, and it is so pertinent at the moment, and that is, it's time to break up with, leave, go, ditch your barber. If the shop is unclean, the shop should be clean. They should be cleaning their tools, so their brushes, uh, any blades that they're using, the clippers, um, with um, a barbicide, which is just a sort of spray onto it, or they can put it into the barbicide, uh, which tends to be a sort of blue liquid, onto the top of the counter. They need to be disinfecting all their tools after. They also need to be cleaning that chair, cleaning the floor. Um, you don't want any cross-contamination. They should never use the same blade. The same blade, if you're having a close shave, they should never use the same blade on two customers. Um, it's dangerous, they shouldn't be doing it. If the shop is not clean, do not sit down, do not get your hair cut. Again, alarm bells, warning flags, get out of there. It is so important. Even if it's the best bar with the technical ability, if the shop isn't clean, you don't wanna be doing it. So there you go. Five uh, signs, flags, warning bells, we're going through them all to break up with your barber right there. If you've had some bad experiences, uh, let me know in the comments. I'll put one of mine down there too. Um, if you've had some great experiences, I also want to know. Those ones are like, we need to be really sort of celebrating the great barbers and hairstylists out there. So thank you very much for watching. Really hope you've enjoyed this one. Do check out the hairstyle directory. I'll have it linked there. It'll also be up there. Also come and follow Man For Hair. And um, if you're still new to this, you've still not pressed subscribe, then please do hit subscribe right now. The button is there. There's also more video suggestions down there. I can't wait to get a haircut right here. Um, the hairstyle directory will be there. And again, more in the cards. But until my next new video, bye-bye.